Recently, the Mossad, Israel's national intelligence agency, appointed a woman identified as Agent A as the director of its intelligence authority. Another woman, identified as Agent K, serves as the head of Mossad's powerful and essential Iran desk. This marks the first time that women are holding two of the top positions in Israel's national intelligence agency. Though this is not the first time a woman has held a position of power in the world of intelligence. Specifically, the United Kingdom and the United States of America have both had female chiefs in various intelligence agencies. Today, we take a brief look at some of their lives and careers. Moving to Britain, Stella Remington served as the first female director general of the British Domestic Counterintelligence Agency, MI5. Remington was the DG of MI5 from 1992 to 1996. She was also the first publicly acknowledged DG of the MI5. She joined the MI5 in 1969. Her joining the MI5 in 1969 interestingly has an India connection. In an interview with The Guardian, she recalled, I fell into intelligence by chance. I worked as an archivist before getting married. Then my husband was posted to India. In India, as a diplomat's wife, Remington was suddenly offered a job as a typist with the MI5. Remington recalled, I was grateful for an end to the boredom. Consequently began her 30-year career in intelligence, ending at the very pinnacle of the security service. Through her time at the MI5, she worked in various roles, including counter-subversion and counter-terrorism. She became the first woman to be promoted to director of a service branch of the MI5 before she became the DG. Under her management as director general, the service took on lead roles in the fight against Irish Republican terrorism. Many even argue that she was the inspiration behind Judy Dench's portrayal of the character M, the head of the MI6 in the British spy series James Bond. Remington retired from the service in 1996. She was appointed Dame Commander of the Order of the Bath in the same year and published her autobiography, Open Secret, in 2001. More recently, Elizabeth Manningham Buller served as the DG of MI5 from 2002 to 2007. She was the second female to be the DG of the MI5 after Remington. Before joining the MI5, Buller read English at Lady Margaret Hall at the University of Oxford. After graduation from Oxford, she worked for three years as a teacher. She then entered the world of intelligence by joining the service in 1974. At the MI5, her primary work focus was international and domestic counterterrorism. Buller led the MI5 department responsible for global counterterrorism. Later in her career, Buller was posted to Washington as a senior liaison officer to the US intelligence community. When she returned from Washington to the UK in 1992, Buller led a newly created Irish counterterrorist section. This was formed in response to the United Kingdom's decision to make the MI5 in charge of intelligence work against Irish terrorism, including the Irish Republican Army on the British mainland. In 1993, she was promoted to the Security Services Management Board. In 1997, she was appointed Deputy Director General of the MI5. Finally, she was appointed Director General of MI5 in October 2002 and retired from service in April 2007. She's been a member of the House of Lords since 2008. Though Stella Remington and Elizabeth Buller have served as DGs of the MI5, the MI6, Britain's foreign intelligence agency, also known as the Secret Intelligence Service, has never had a woman chief. Across the Atlantic, in the United States of America, intelligence agencies like the UK have had female chiefs. Gina Haspel became the first female director of the Central Intelligence Agency in 2018. She served as the CIA director from 2018 to 2021. She was the first female to hold the position on a permanent basis. Merrow Park was the acting head of the CIA from 20th to 23rd January 2017. Before the CIA, she was a student at the University of Kentucky for three years and transferred for her senior year to the University of Louisville, where she graduated in May 1978 with a Bachelor of Science in Languages and Journalism. In 1985, Hasper joined the CIA. She had more than a three-decade-long career with the CIA before becoming the director. 
For most periods of her career, she was posted undercover. However, the CIA revealed that her first day at the CIA's counterterrorism center was on 9/11 when Al Qaeda flew a plane into the Twin Towers. The CIA tweeted that on 9/11, she walked in amid the commotion, sat down in the computer, and got to work. She didn't get up for three years. The CIA also added that before being named CIA deputy director in 2017. Hasper held a series of senior jobs, including chief of staff to deputy director for operations, chief of station in the city of a major U.S. ally, which they didn't reveal, and deputy director of the Directorate of Operations, which is commonly known as the D.O. This department runs the CIA's clandestine operations. Hasper resigned towards the end of the Trump presidency in January 2021. Moving from the CIA. Avery Hines was sworn in as the first female director of national intelligence in the United States as part of the Biden-Harris administration. The Senate confirmed her nomination in January 2021. Avery Hines is a national security establishment veteran, having held important portfolios in the intelligence community during the Obama administration as well. During the Obama administration's time, she served as assistant to the president. and principal deputy national security advisor from 2015 to 2017 between 2015 to 17 she also led the national security council's deputies committee from 2013 to 2015 hines was the deputy director of the central intelligence agency she was the first woman to hold this position hines received her bachelor's degree in physics from the university of chicago and a law degree from georgetown university law center Moving back from the Atlantic to India, in India, neither the Intelligence Bureau nor the Research and Analysis Wing has had a woman director. However, Renuka Mattu from the Indian Police Service recently served as a special director in India's Intelligence Bureau. Mattu is a 1976 batch IPS officer who started as part of the Uttar Pradesh Carter. Later, she was transferred to the Uttarakhand Carter after the formation of the Hill State in 2000. At the Intelligence Bureau, she retired as Special Director, and a lot of her work focused on VIP security. She also served as the Joint Director of the Subsidiary Intelligence Bureau in Chandigarh, which is the state unit of the IB. She retired from service in 2010. This is Sujit Veer Singh for the Print. For more, log on to theprint.in.